To compare these two big numbers, let's calculate the quotient first. So, 3 to the power of 100 plus 4 to the power of 100 over 5 to the power of 100 equals 3 to the power of 100 over 5 to the power of 100 plus 4 to the power of 100 over 5 to the power of 100. Now, the first term can be written as 3 over 5 to the power of 100 plus 4 over 5 to the power of 100. Now, we can write the first term as 3 over 5 squared times 3 over 5 to the power of 98 plus 4 over 5 squared times 4 over 5 to the power of 98. Let's see the second factor. Because 3 over 5 less than 1, both sides raised to the power of 98. So we get 3 over 5 to the power of 98 less than 1 to the power of 98, which is equals 1. That means this number less than 1. Similarly, 4 over 5 to the power of 98 less than 1. So we replace this number by 1, so we get less than so 3 over 5 squared times 1 plus 4 over 5 squared times 1. The first term is 9 over 25. The second term, 16 over 25. So we get 25 over 25, which is 1. That means the quotient less than 1. That means the top less than the bottom. So 3 to the power of 100 plus 4 to the power of 100 less than 5 to the power of 100. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.